happy vlogmas day 19 god we're almost 20 days in i have to tell you all that dermaflash tool that i used last night my skin feels so tight it is wild i'm like so impressed with it it's just like I wonder how often you can use it because I really truly feel a difference. I think that's the first tool I've ever used that I woke up and my skin literally felt tight. So that's exciting and I need to do some more reading because I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if like when you do the serum like the zapping thing if that just helps to like tighten the skin or produce collagen or what that does but it's amazing. It's amazing y'all. We're gonna get our day started. I slept in super late today and I'm gonna make probably my blue green matcha this morning or that french toast matcha that was really yummy and then i'm going to denver today i think i'm going to my hip-hop class that i went to a couple weeks ago which i'm so excited to go again and yeah we're just gonna spend the day in denver today so it's gonna be a good day <laughs> Right off the bat, I can tell you already, this looks hella strong, but the division of the two colors is really beautiful. But I used a new matcha today. This is from Mighty Leaf. I really like the box, but this is a new one to me and I could tell that this is like a more potent matcha. So I think I might have to add a little extra milk to this because it looks pretty strong, y'all. <laughs> Oh, it's still good. It's stronger, but it's delicious still. It's 1.30, I'm still in pajamas. And now that I'm in like real time with my vlogging with you all, it is a little bit harder just because you're editing like the same day that you're trying to get stuff uploaded and it's just like a challenge. So I haven't even made it to Denver yet. I don't even know if it's gonna happen today. It's been kind of like a low key morning. I talked to my best friend, Maria. She is in Texas now and I talked to my grandma today cause it's her birthday today. She doesn't watch vlogs or YouTube or have internet at her house, but happy birthday to my grandma. So I don't know what we're gonna do today, We'll figure it out a little later. I just got out of the shower and I'm just feeling so refreshed. I still feel super sleepy and tired. I think just because I was up so late last night, but I finally used the Denman brush again and I did it in the shower this time. It's amazing. I loved how easy it was to brush through all my curls. It was so much easier than finger detangling. And then when I styled my hair, I just styled it as normal. And I just feel like the definition is like the kind of definition I normally get with finger detangling. So it's not gonna shrink so much and it's gonna look so good once it dries. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is like the new thing for me because that was way quicker than finger detangling. And it just felt so good to like brush your scalp and just like brush instead of using your fingers. So I really, really loved that. I got some packages. So I think one of these is at least PR and the other one, I don't really know what it is. Probably something I ordered during Black Friday that has yet to arrive. So let's take a peek. This first package is from Shit That I Knit. I love this brand so much. Let's see. Oh, I could do it. It 
sell hats and luxury scarves and they hand make everything. So let's see what they sent me. They sent me a card that says, aw, thank you for all of your hard work. This is what it looks like, super cute. And it's the same hat that I already have. But I actually like this one a lot. This one is not lined like the one that I own, but it's a cutie. So we will definitely get some use out of this. And if not, this is something that I would re-gift. And I'm not saying I would re-gift it because I don't like it. I literally already have three of these hats and I've worked with shit that I knit before. And But this one is super soft. It's softer than the one I have been wearing. In the second package, this is from, I think this is something I ordered. This is from Mayfair. And it says, we only ship the good shit. I'm hoping this is this really cool sweater that I ordered. It is. It's the sweater. It's here. I hope, it, I hope this fits. They only sell like two sizes, straight and plus. But this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I'm going to wear this today. It says... Somebody loves you. It's like a full on graffiti shirt. It says, baby, yummy, have a lovely day. On the back, it says, somebody at the door. Somebody was at the door, so I got a little bit interrupted, but the sweater is super cute. You guys kind of saw that. And then this is the top. It says, made you smile. So I'm gonna try these on and see how they work. I don't have a bra on, so I'm just covering up the nips so you guys don't get a peep show. But this is a really cute crop. I really love the little made you smile. I think it's cute. This feels very Miami to me. So I think I might wear this in Miami with a cute pair of heels. Probably these ones, because they're so comfortable. And this is the sweater. I really was hoping that it would have a little more stretch to it, but it is comfortable still. I think I'm gonna have to take it in to get it like custom cropped for me because clearly it's not gonna fit like over my hips. It fits as a crop. I really like the style. I think it's kind of fun. Very 90s vibes, but it needs to be altered. Update on the hair. I can't tell you whether this is like good or not because I actually blow dry my hair for like 20 minutes today trying to film the TikTok and I never blow dry my hair so <sighs> looks crazy. We've been home all day. Mia's barking at me because she's ready for DIN in the ER. And yeah so we're just like taking it easy and that's totally fine but I really want pizza but I also don't want to go to the grocery store so I'm gonna see if I can like make a makeshift pizza of some sort. But I also don't have any toppings for one, so I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to like scrounge around and try to make some dinner. We've got some leftover tomato paste, these cheddar bagels, and there should be some cheese in here. Like, oh, not in there. Dea cheddar cheese, and aha! mozzarella style shreds and for toppings i've got some onion and some pepper so let's make a baby pizza because this is not going to be actual dinner <laughs> i'm going to be hungry in like an hour but making these pizza bagels makes me feel like I'm Emma Chamberlain today. So maybe I should get my flute out and pretend like it's drums and, you know, give you all the Emma Chamberlain vibes for the day.
actually, I totally forgot about this, but so I went to Denison University and the coffee shop that was on campus, they used to make pizza bagels and they were so good. And this is like taking me back to my college days. I literally have not thought about a pizza bagel in, oh my gosh, years. It's been a minute. I bought this bougie toaster, which I love. This was like one of my housewarming gifts to myself. And it has a pizza setting. So we're gonna put them in here. Give it 10 minutes. See you in 10 minutes. And I fall into peace inside. They look kind of good. I'm not mad about it. Is it going to taste as good as I'm hoping? That we can only tell in time. But we need to let this cool down because it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. But this looks. Tasty. Okay, let's take a bite. Mm, not bad. Since I'm leaving in a couple of days, I'm trying not to go to the grocery store anymore because I don't want to buy groceries that are just going to go bad. And I still have not a lot of things, but some things that I need to eat through before we leave for like three weeks. So. Mm. It's actually pretty good. I'm I'm happy with it. I just put some PJs on. Mia's crying because she wants another snack. But um, it's just been a super low key day. This is her level of crying when she wants food. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all had a good time with me today. I kept it super low key just because, you know, Sometimes you need those kinds of days where you just relax and hang out and do nothing. And it was that kind of day for me. So anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.